Hey YouTube, it's uh, E-Rock. Today I'm going to show you how to make one of these. Which is an emergency cell phone charger. I know I've showed you the video of, uh, you know, the finished product, but I'm going to show you how it's done. Uh, it's actually really easy. If you open that dude up, this is an old camel snus can. Uh, everything's fully self-contained. Got everything inside. All right, let's get to it. First, you need a cell phone charger car charger key word there car charger okay and be sure that it actually works if it doesn't you're just wasting your time first thing you do disassemble the car charger most of them are pretty easy to take apart some of them aren't some of them got all kinds of screws and crap this one here is pretty easy it just kind of snaps together uh, one of my favorite knives. I use this dude all the time. As you can see, it's kind of rugged. Uh, needs a good sharpening, but that's another deal. Pry your uh, charger apart. Some of these things are really tough to get apart. This one is pretty easy though. It snaps. In. Okay. As you can see, uh, once you get it apart, um, everything just kind of, boom, slides right out. Now, you want to be careful not to break any of the wires or anything. You're going to want to do some cutting here, so you're going to want to have a, uh, our wire cutters handy. Now, if you look at the bottom, it's kind of hard to see maybe in the camera, but this one shows as the uh, ground, and that one, UCC, I guess means positive. So, um, what you're going to do, <coughs> you can go to Radio Shack, and get yourself a 9 volt battery adapter, uh, you can pick up a pack of five of these things. Uh, if I remember right, it was uh, about three bucks. Thanks, Radio Shack. Or, if you got an old uh, kid's toy around that used a 9 volt battery that doesn't work anymore, you can always steal the connector off of that, get it for free. Okay, you're going to want to trim your wires up here. Oh, by the way, I hope you like my selection of music here. I like it. Well, Aaron Lewis. Yeah, country boy, baby. Wire strippers actually work a whole lot better, but this is a real fine wire, so we're just going to do it this way. Be very careful not to rip the wires out of the circuit board. Then you got to do more soldering and it's a pain in the butt. Still can be done. This is actually pretty quick. Hang on, let me readjust my camera here. <coughs> Not getting much in there. That's probably a little better. There we go. Alright. Now, for speed's sake, I'm not going to do any soldering. Um, 
I'm just going to show you all the basic things that you need to do. Okay, you got your ground over here. Got your black there. Wrap everything up nice and tight. Trust me, I know this is not the right way to do it, but this is just for speed sake, like I said. Today I'm just going to duct tape, or not duct tape, use a little uh, electrical tape to uh, get them insulated from each other so they don't uh, short out. And as I said, you want to be sure and be careful while you're doing this not to rip the wires out of the circuit board. Then you got a whole other project on your hands. Okay. Now, another thing you want to do, uh, it's more electrical tape. You want to wrap some electrical tape around the whole thing that way nothing on the bottom is going to short out on your can okay because trust me it will I'm just going to do this a really uh, quick wrap here just to give you the basic idea. Everybody's going to kind of do things their own way anyway, so at that point, hey, figure out how you want to do your own. Plus, the configuration of each charger is going to be a little bit different. Some are going to be bigger, some are going to be smaller. Basically, that's almost done. Now, on your candle snus can or whatever container you want to use, doesn't make any difference, just use one that works for you, okay? I pre-drilled a hole in the bottom, just to save time for the video. And you pull the top off. Now, you want to open that hole up. I used what is called a nibbler which they use in uh, body working, uh, metal working, that kind of thing. Kind of a neat little tool. Just takes a little bitty chunk out of whatever it is bump you're working on. Just imagine that that's a hole. You put that dude right there, chink, and it takes the uh, edge right out of there. You can see that. Okay. So you take your uh, what's left over here, all your guts, kind of figure out how you want to arrange it. As you can see, what I did here, eh, that worked real well, didn't it? Eh, anyways, um, the drill bit, the size of the drill bit that I chose to do this with, pretty much matches the size of the grommet that you've got there. Now, I'm gonna have to take it off and read it. Because I gotta prove to you that it works. So, let's figure it out here. Okay, which one was crown? It was that side. See, the wire coming out of here is a little bit tougher than this, so I'm gonna have to to try and bend that a little bit so that way it's going to stay. There we go. Much better. That'll work now. Sorry if I keep bumping the camera with my shoulder. 
trying not to. It's just about the best way to get the best view. Get some more tape. should be soldering these together but like I said I'm just doing this for speed sake for the uh, video all right <clears throat> get your stuff situated in the old school can or camel can whatever you use wedge down in there kind of pre-did this one a little bit just so I could figure out where my battery's going to go. I think it's going to fit just fine. Well, might be too tall for the can. Let me see here. Actually, I think this is going to work. Let's take a look here. this is kind of an important part right here because you want this to be real snug let's back it off just a little bit just want to get it down in there beautiful nice fit the more you use it, the better, easier it's going to come apart and go back together. Alright, then you take your 9 volt battery. Sorry, I only have one right now. Get your battery connector out there. That dude hooked up, you can see the light on, that means it's working. <clears throat> now, one key thing to remember is once you get your phone charged, disconnect your battery. Otherwise, that itty bitty LED is going to run that battery down, and hey, you're going to be done. You'll be able to use it again until you get another battery. Get everything packed in there nice and tight. Put your lid on. Big and snug. Take your cell phone. As you can see, it's just a little cell phone, normal. And hey, look at that. It's time for a charge anyways. Good time. Alright, now listen for it. Charge light. Boom. Look at that. I hear in about an hour, actually about an hour and 15 minutes, 